everyone. Welcome to our study today, whereby I want to share with us a very, very important uh, message concerning two categories of people. So there is two categories of people, and I want us, you yourself, you examine yourself and they see in which category do you fall. Two categories of people, those who promote evil and those who promote peace and joy. Uh, according to the script in the book of Proverbs chapter number 12, verses 20, the Bible says that this seed is found in the heart of those who imagine evil, but peace is found is found in them who promote peace. So, in the world, we have two categories of people. There are those who promote what is evil, and there is those who promote what is good. Those who promote what is evil, they allow their stepfather to lead them, to control them, because there are only two fathers here. There is the father of all creation, who is our God, and there is the stepfather. Stepfather, it is the devil who rebelled, who rebelled against the creator. Uh, so Jesus said that he told the Pharisees and the other teachers of the law that uh, they were of their father and devil, Satan or Lucifer, because they didn't believe his message. And he told them categorically that when their stepfather lies to him, that is his na native language. Uh, John chapter 8, verses 44. So whenever you are promoting evil, whenever you are lying, whenever you are deceiving, then you are under influence of your stepfather. I'm calling him stepfather because the devil did not create anyone, but he deceives and he uses some of the people who allow themselves to be used by the enemy as instrument of propagating his agenda. And Proverbs chapter 12, verses 20 tells us, where does evil originate? Evil originates in the earth. And when it originates in the earth, it comes as a form of imagination. You imagine evil. At the same time, goodness also originates in the heart. That is when Jesus said that out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So, if your mouth is filthy, understand the agenda of your father. And the father whom you are promoting, it is your stepfather. This stepfather, he didn't create you, but he is influencing you to propagate his agenda. You may be doing it ignorantly, and that is why now here we are bringing the truth to you, so that you may understand exactly what is going on. So there is two categories of people, the people who promote deceit and evil. This kind of people, they are very, very dangerous to the development of any uh, society. Because this is what happens. When they get the opportunity to hire offices, the result are misuse of resources. These are the kind of people who promote uh, corruption, who promote embezzlement of funds. And... They, cont they keep on propagating the agenda of the enemy. And when the weekend are ruling, then there is no peace. There is no peace. But you thank God because there is hope. There is another category of people who imagine good, who are under the influence of the Holy Spirit. They fear God. They honor God. They reference God. They are, they are godly and they are contented. Even as Paul told Timothy, that godliness with contentment is a great gain. These people are peacemakers. They promote peace. They promote joy. Where they are, people rejoice. Actually, the scripture is very clear that when the righteous rule, people are rejoice. So these people, they don't seek their own interest, but they seek to please their master. They seek to please God, who is their creator, who is their source. And wherever they are, there is joy. There is peace, there is progress, there is equity, there is justice, there is fairness. There is no partiality where these categories of people are. Now, I want to pose a question to you this moment and this season of your life. In which category of people do you belong? Have you allowed yourself to be under the influence of your stepfather? 
So father yes, Lucifer, the devil, Satan, the great serpent. Or you have allowed yourself to be controlled by your real father, who is God, through the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you are there and you examine your life and you realize over the years you are you have been under the influence of your stepfather, it is important for you now to come to your to come home, come to your original father. The father of all creation. He loves you so much that he has given himself for you. He is ready to welcome you home so that you may disconnect yourself from your stepfather. And remember, one of the objectives of the stepfather, who is the devil, is that it is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But your true father, he welcomes you home. And when you come home, you are restored. You are made new. You are renewed. Your mind is renewed. You are, you are thought is renewed and you are now you start thinking and behaving and imagining and 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 living as him all the time you think that which is good that which is acceptable that is which is which is uh, pleasing and to him and the good thing is when you come to him he gives you power he empowers you he, he does not leave you alone he gives you the Europa, who is the Holy Spirit. So my dear friend, wherever you are, I am welcoming you home so that you may come and you may dine with your father who loves you so much, who created you, who cares for you. We will never leave you. We will never forsake you until the very end. So wherever you are, do not tarry. Come to him and he's going to welcome you home. How do you come to him? You come to him through faith in him. Through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. You believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the son of God. And when you believe in him, you confess with your mouth that God made Jesus Christ to rise from the dead. Then you are saved. After you are saved now, you call upon the name of the Lord. And whoever shall call, call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. So there is no position which is permanent. Even if you have been operating under the influence of the stepfather, there is room for you to come home and to be restored to your original father. My prayer for you, wherever you are, is that when you hear the word of God, you are not going to harden your heart, but you are going to believe and you are going to receive the great salvation which God has given us so that he may transform you from inside out. Remember, he loves you. He cares for you. He is with you and he will never leave you. Accept him right now. And he is going to transform your life and he is going to empower you so that you are you are not you are no longer going to be under the influence of the stepfather in the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, receive the great salvation which we have been given through the power of the Holy Spirit, and you will be at the position of overcoming and living a fulfilling life to the glory and the honor of our Lord. In Jesus' name, you are blessed of the Lord, even as you choose to live right and to walk in the truth. Who is Christ Jesus? He is our truth in the name of Jesus. So God bless you and keep you even as you continue learning and believing in him and trusting in him all the days of your life in the name of Jesus.